Was that about as good a performance from Ryan as you could hope for, especially the kickoffs, because he's never really been asked to do that much? Yeah, I was, I was really happy for Ryan. Uh, pleased. Um, can't say I was surprised, but really pleased by uh, his performance, his focus. Um, you know, it's not, it's not always easy to balance both, you know, especially in your preparation in terms of kickoffs and, and your place kicking work. Um, because uh, you know just the time dedicated to it and the footwork and and everything that goes along with it and I thought he did a really nice job uh, on Saturday uh, both with his place kicking obviously was perfect on that but also his kickoffs you know to have four touchbacks to have um, you know the ball placement that he had I, I thought that was that was really critical for us to see that from him and I think it's a confidence builder obviously for him going forward. Uh, on the flip side, on the kickoff returns, Coach Norvell said that um, you know he felt like it, on at least one of them it was just maybe like one guy missing a block or something like that. Um, but obviously, that was a big goal this season, and you know was it frustrating that you guys didn't get off to the right foot? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, you obviously wanted to go out and, and and show the growth that we we feel like we've had throughout the course of the off season into into that first opportunity to play. But um, you know, it's it's one of the one of those things that. Um, you know, it takes all 11, you know, to, to be able to execute. And even if you have nine or 10 of the guys doing a really good job, which showed up on, on Saturday, if you if you miss one of them, especially at a critical spot uh, in terms of the return, it could set the whole thing kind of awry. That's why, you know, it's one of the, that's why one of the, the things that I think uh, makes those those punt returns that are big punt returns or kickoff returns so special is that um, it takes a lot of factors to all play at the same time to, to have success on those. You got to get all all 11 guys in terms of execution. You also need the right kick, the right ball placement, all the things happening at the same time for those to turn into big plays. And uh, you know, it, it wasn't as far away as it probably looked, um, but obviously it's something that that we need to to continue to build upon because it it will be a weapon for us going forward. Brenda? With that in mind, what kind of teaching opportunity is it for a young guy like Sam McCall to kind of show, I guess, when one thing breaks down, I guess, how does he have to respond to that moving, moving forward? Yeah, my gut reaction on the field on the first one was that maybe he uh, did panic, but I don't, looking at it on the tape, I don't think that he did. At, at a critical point of attack spot in the return, there was color that showed up, and I don't know that he had many options at that point. Now, on the second return, going forward, uh, we don't typically want to return a, a kick that's kicked outside the numbers. That would be an opportunity for us to, to fair catch. Um, we kind of drifted outside of what we call our hot box. Um, but those are, those are great learning opportunities for him moving forward and um, for everybody as a, as a unit. Uh, because just the angles when the ball is kicked that far uh, into the corner close to the sideline doesn't, doesn't present the best return opportunities for you. You know, Coach Norvell talked about how happy he was that the team went out and did what they were supposed to do and have a pretty dominating performance. But you know, this game that's coming up this weekend has been talked about all off season, and he likes the way the team has handled it. As a coaching staff, not that you, you coach with a hand tied behind your back, but probably limited some of the things you wanted to do defensively. How, how much of a challenge was that for you to prepare your team, knowing that you had this game on the horizon, you didn't want to show too much, and um, just how much did you learn about guys like Jared Verse, and, and how much did you kind of hold things back, maybe? Well, you know, I, th I think. Uh, you know, the, in, in opening games, regardless of who you're playing against, you want to see execution. And uh, your best opportunity to have a high level of execution is to, to rep a lot of things that you've spent a lot of time practicing throughout the for course of spring practice and fall camp and everything leading up. And really, that was that was mostly our thought process going into this past game was that uh, the things that that was the core of, of who we were and what we did was what we were going to stick to. And we wanted to see the guys play with fundamentals, techniques, and see them play hard, and uh, be able to execute what our, our base is. And um, that, that's what we were able to go do. You know, I thought we executed at a high level, especially up front. Um, I thought, generally speaking, we played with good, good fundamentals and technique. So you know, that, was, that was what we wanted to see coming out of it. Um, obviously, with each opponent, you're going to have some tweaks and adjustments, and and the same is going to be true this coming week. There's going to be some things that we tweak a little bit, um, but that's going to be every week now going forward. There obviously weren't a ton of opportunities um, to show off the pass rush the way they were getting the ball out, but um, 
what did you what did you see out of the ends in general? Would you how did you feel like they did? Yeah, you know, I mean, you you said it. There wasn't a, a whole lot of, of opportunities where it was true drop back and quarterback was sitting there in the pocket. But uh, I did see I did see some flash. You know, I saw uh, Derek McClendon was probably a step away on on two or three rushes in terms of, of being able to to make a play on the ball. Um, you know, I did see some good get off there and, and some good speed. Uh, I was happy to see Jared Verse able to, to get the sack uh, later in the game. You know, we played a lot of guys at the spot. We ended up playing seven guys at the defensive end spot through the course of the game, um, broken up over 49 reps. I don't know that, that guys got in a great pass rushing rhythm. Um, I think they were one of 10 on third down, and, and some of those were the ball was coming out, like I said, pretty quick. So we didn't get into a lot of our, our pass rush games, a lot of the things that, that we'll do going forward. But, um, you know, I thought, I thought there were some good things, but obviously you want to see sustained pressure on the quarterback. Uh, on, on the punt return unit, uh, can you talk a little bit? You didn't get a lot of really great opportunities on the punt return the way it was punted, but can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, I thought, you know, it's one of the things that we talk about every week. The, the bottom of the, the punt return, um, you know, tips and reminders, their, their game plan always, it says believe. And there's a lot of reasons why it says that, but the main reason I always put believe on it is when you take the field, you got to believe this is the one that's going to make the difference. And there's going to be a lot of things that may be out of your control in terms of, of whether that kick is going to be a returnable kick. You know, the, obviously, if, if it's a great kick with great hang time, you may not get an opportunity to return it. Or in this case, we got a lot of kicks that were were not really returnable kicks because they weren't great kicks. Um, but you still got to go believe and execute because you never know which one of those seven or eight, nine that you may have in a game is going to be the one. Um, so I thought, I thought individually, if you broke down each one of our players, um, there were some, a lot of good things in terms of the punt return. Um, there's definitely some things to clean up. Uh, you know, which which is a little bit to be expected coming out of the first game. But I did like Micah back there. I thought he was poised. I thought he was con in control. Um, I thought there was a couple times he came over to me and said, "Hey, I could have done this. I could have done that." So he he knows what's happening out there, which which is a good sign. And uh, you know, I expect that unit to continue to grow as as the year goes on. Uh, you guys obviously uh, covered kicks well. Um, what is what do you guys know about LSU's potential in terms of returners? Obviously, they have some athletes, but what do you know about their return? Yeah, you know they got uh, you know they don't have a lot of experience coming back. Um, they, they have a, a couple guys that that got a handful of, of returns a year ago, but we we certainly respect the athleticism of their skill group, both offensively and defensively, because they do have a, a couple guys that have gotten some return work that are on de defensive backs. But um, you know, so we know that that it's going to be a weapon. We've played against Coach Kelly um, and Coach Polian for for a couple years now, so we kind of have a feel. Uh, at least what they've done in the past in the return game, and they've always been really good at it. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna prepare uh, to the best of our ability with a lot of unknowns in terms of their return game, um, but really with the focus on on ourselves. You know the things that we did really well in our coverage unit the other day um, really don't ma it doesn't matter who the opponent would be. Our speed down the field uh, was better than it's ever been uh, in terms of. of when you pause the tape where the ball gets caught, where our guys were, uh, it was it was impressive to see. And then the results showed up. You know, I think we, we had three three kickoffs where we, we pinned them inside the 15. And and uh, you know, a lot of that, all of that is the the speed that we had down the field and the implementation of fundamentals and technique at the point of attack. Going to add one for the last one, Coach. I think the, the reports out of their camp they're probably going to be starting like a true freshman at left tackle, like. Would you go and look at huddle film of a kid like from high school? Is that more relevant, or what the you know the offensive line coach Coach Davis has done with his tackles, or what Coach Denbrock's wanted his left tackles to do over the years? Great. I mean, that's really a great question. Uh, yes, we we will look at the huddle film um, uh, in terms of just to get a feel for for what that looks like, um, because I mean, guys do have certain strengths and weaknesses that that may or may not have changed in the time that, that he's been in school, but you, you certainly want to do all, you want, there's, there's not one stone that we want to leave unturned in terms of our preparation. So, you know, anytime we're playing a, a true freshman, uh, we will go back and, and look at some of his high school stuff. Um, obviously, there's going to be some growth and development, just like there is for our high school players when they, when they come in. But, 
you know, there are certain tendencies that guys have, and um, we want to know as much about them as, as we possibly can. All right. Thanks, Coach. Awesome. Thank you.